July 23rd, 2012. And in this segment of this video, we're going to talk about hand-to-hand uh, -hand, -hand combat training for a lot of you brothers, okay? Because a lot of you brothers think you can fight. Well, you really don't, okay? Now, in, on TV, in the media, every fight that you see is profit-driven, okay? It's not about survival. And in a fight that's about survival, you, uh, you're basically going to... It, the fight ain't going to be the same, okay, as you see on TV, and I'm going to explain why. Now, fights on TVs have rules, a fight in the street don't have rules. So what you're basically going to do is um, no rules. You can do whatever you want. In, in a fight, there are no rules in a street fight. I don't care how you um, put it or whatever, but anything goes. Now, let's say, for instance, okay, you're in a street fight. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line, okay? Now, you can go on online on YouTube or whatever, and you see people, you know, swinging like this with the roundhouse, okay? That's a big no-no, okay? Like I said, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line, okay? A straight line, meaning that the time it takes for that roundhouse to come around, your opponent would have already jabbed you, just like that, okay? So now, what you do, okay, is you start off with some jabs, okay, with a jab, like that, but you got to make sure your feet are planted well, okay, like I said, I'm left-handed, alright, so you start off with jabs, and when you jab, you go in the, the rhythm, you, you got to go like that, okay for it to be effective because you jiving like that it's gonna throw you off balance so you throw it with a twist okay but it doesn't stop there because if you hit a person in a certain spot in their head it ain't gonna really do a difference you end up hurting your hand okay busting up your knuckles and things like that so what you do is you go with an open palm strike, okay? Now, there's a video on YouTube of this uh, this faggot ass cop that uh, sucker punched the brother when he's already in cuffs, okay? And if that was me in handcuffs, personally, if I was handcuffed and the cop hit me, I would have head butted the punch, okay? The hardest part of the body is the top of the head. So you still have a defensive, some defense if you're in cuffs by doing a head butt to a punch. But you got to see it coming, okay? Now, with that open strike, that palm, in certain sports, okay? Certain sports, like I said, they have rules. In a regular fight, there are no rules. So when you do an open strike with the palm, you want to grip, okay? When you strike flesh, you grip it and you pull, all right? You pull it out. Like I said, there's no, no, no rules, okay? So I'm going to give you an example of uh, how to strike, open palm strike, and grasp up, along to the palm. This, this really is the most, this part of the body, this will put a person down quick. In the Bibles, it tells you about Jacob wrestles with an angel. The angel touches Jacob, okay, in his side and put him down to the ground. Okay, now, with an open strike, you go 
like that, okay? You want to go in here, somewhere in here, not here, but right here, because if you hit the right spot, the legs are going to turn into spaghetti, okay? They're going to get weak in the legs. That's why a lot of you brothers that train, you better have some kind of strength in your legs, okay? Because if you don't, one punch can sink you to the ground. One blow to the, to the midsection will put your ass down to the ground, okay? Now with open palm strike, you want to go like that, all right? Straight. You want to go straight like that. You don't have to have gloves on, all right? But you want to go straight like that, okay? This has to be touching, but you're gripping like that, like a vice grip, okay? Like that. None of that roundhouse, because that shit ain't going to work on somebody like me. You come with a roundhouse, that's all I'm going to do, and I'm going like that, okay? That's all I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to tell you about another thing with the roundhouse, all right? When somebody, when you strike somebody, you're leaving yourself open, okay? What you're going to do is, if somebody come with the roundhouse, most people, majority of people are right-handed, okay? In the word, they're right-handed. So, let's say if I'm fighting a right-handed person, he throw that right hand out to me, okay? He throwing the right, and then he throwing the left. Throwing the right, left. Right, left. He gonna throw that right, and I'm gonna see it. It just depends on if I wanna take advantage. I'm gonna see that right, and I'm gonna do this, okay? Bring it back around like that. I'm gonna lock on it, lock on it. It's, it's on, okay? Then I'm gonna go to the ground with it, okay? And I'm gonna snap it, okay? Depends on how I wanna how I wanna do it. Or if I want to, I can just keep it like that and come with a strike, okay? Because if his power, all of his power is in his right hand, I got his right hand. He can't hurt me, okay? If he's weak in the left, he might have a little power in the left, but in the right hand. The, his soul power is in his right hand. He ain't gonna be able to knock me out with his right hand if he can knock me out in the first place, okay? Now, something else I want to talk about is strength training in the legs. When you're fighting somebody, you don't need to keep your legs straight, okay? You try to walk with your legs straight, okay? You're gonna be looking like Frankenstein. You want to keep the legs bent, and you want to kind of tuck low. Keep it low like that. So when you strike, when you come and strike, you don't necessarily have to go to the head. You can go to the body, or you can go to the thigh, okay? Now this camera kind of sit low, the way I have it. It's for a reason, okay? Because I want you to see, if I stood up all the way, you won't really be able to see me too well, so you'll be able to kind of see how I'm working, okay? Now, being quick with your feet is a major thing also. You don't want to stand in one spot to get hit. All that fancy rhythm, all that, sometimes they're working on fight, sometimes they don't. Because you're burning energy in a fight. You don't want to burn that much energy. You want to conserve energy but use your power effectively as well. So, what you do is you stand in one spot. None of that, you know, struggling around and none of that, you're burning unnecessary energy. The boxers do it all the time. What you wanna do is stand in one spot and have your feet planted well, all right? Because the majority of your power is coming from the ground. It ain't necessarily coming from these. It's coming from the ground, all right? That's why in it, when you, uh, in electricity, AC, alternating current, you have the, the hot wire, which is the plus, and you have the ground wire, okay, which is the negative, all right? Without the ground, there's no power. It has to be grounded, just like your feet, 
that has to be grounded, okay? So what you do, you ground your feet well, and you kind of like that, okay? And whenever you see something coming at you, you move, okay? It depends on if you want to fire back, you want to answer back, or not. But you don't stand up there and let somebody hit you. But at the same time, you don't burn in unnecessary in energy as well, okay? Somebody come at you with the left, you can come back like that, okay? It just depends. But you don't stand on one spot. Also, when you're doing a strike, okay, depending on what it is, you, you always kind of want to keep it straight, all right? Like I said, keep it straight. Kind of keep it straight a little bit because when you come in like that, you have all this open. This is open as well. In a fight, anything goes. As I said, anything goes in a fight. So, if you have, let's say, say like if you fighting somebody on the street, automatically, this is the way it's going to be. Hmm? That's the way it's going to be. What you're going to do is you're going to kind of go down. You, you won't expect you to be coming straight. And narrow like that. Be coming like this. You gonna be going low like that. Alright? And it's always good to go low. I'm gonna tell you why. When you go low, you have the advantage. Because people tend to stand with their legs straight in the fight. Okay, like that. You don't wanna do that. You wanna keep them bent, which keeps you flexible. Okay, you can move like that, you know, something like that, you know. You, you don't have to be stagnant, okay, because the majority of people that fight in the street fight, this is all you see. This is all you see. That right there, okay. But you want to go straight, always straight, and don't necessarily use your fist. Okay, trust me, your knuckles are going to take a beat. Go with open palm strikes, like I said, and dig into the flesh. In certain sports, that's against the rules, but there are no rules, okay? Like I said, so when you turn a strike, okay? If you're in the combat and you're doing a strike, you want to go like that, okay? And if somebody coming at you with a roundhouse and you have, you're going straight like that, it's not hard for you to do that when you're doing that, hmm? Not hard at all. Now, when you train, most people tend to focus on power. Power comes automatically with momentum. Momentum with speed, okay? Say for instance, you have a motorcycle, all right? And you have a Mustang that's supercharged, okay? A regular 900.